The GOES rapid scan images at one minute cadence are by far the best top view shots of thunderstorm dynamics over short periods of time that have ever been taken. Last night, many of you saw them for the first time, and you have spoken. You want to see a bit more and get more perspective. Well, the bubbling center of the storm would be the thundercloud anvil, and while it does traverse across the land, it moves slower than the storms and clouds produced around it. These images are mostly from 2013 and came out around the same time Iris was delivering our best look at sunspots, showing a 1-2 to two minute oscillatory pulse of wave emanation from the core of the umbra, where the umbral magnetic fields come in and out of the sun. We know that lightning and low pressure systems return global electric circuit current to the sky in the same way you'd see an arching field coming from a sunspot, and the same is seen on this time frame in earth spots in terms of a pulse wave. Now you might have noticed that this is not a low pressure center, but the storms that crop up along the convergence line across the United States. Now while we do see tropical cyclones centered around the low cell, over land we often see the tornadoes, thunderstorms, and hail on the pressure wind convergence found between the loops on Earth, the high and low pressure, and on the sun, the positive and negative sunspots. Now hold that thought just a moment. The GOES imager that we've been using is on GOES 14. In this sequence, we have it in the center, GOES 13 and 15 on either side. Each is showing the satellite's best, aka fastest, top view of the same storm system. There was no rapid scanner on the earlier or later satellite, and indeed, the camera is not currently operating. It only operated a few days, actually, in what they called a proving phase. Hopefully, we will get something like this on the new GOES satellites. We'll wait and see. But now let's come back to the sunspots and recall that it can be the area between cells where activity can be dangerous as in the cell itself. Now thinking high and low pressure on Earth is positive and negative sunspots on the sun, we can look magnetically and find not only that there are strong fields astride to the core sunspot umbra, but when we watch a solar flare go off, it goes off along the convergence. The same way storms might light up around sunset over the United States along an entire convergence line and drop tornadoes. It is a long Along that central corridor where different polarity environments are interacting strongly, like a strong convection on Earth and the lines south of a low pressure cell rolling across the Great Lakes in May, for example. The CME does indeed release due to a destabilization of the fields connected to the leading primary spot. And big or small, sunspots are going to have this pulse with the fields connected through them. And around the sunspot umbra is found the penumbral lines all pointing back generally towards the center. This pulse and penumbral line structure is seen in many storms on Earth. Here it is easy to see in the inward facing lines and pulsing waves outward, but even in still images of large tropical storms we can see my cursor highlighting the same type of inward pointing lines in the cloud. The most energetic storms on on Earth, the most energetic storms on the Sun. Same lines, same outward waves, same currents if we compare the global electric circuit to the Sun's umbral magnetic fields. Tough to ignore so many coincidences, and as we continue watching the lines of identification, remember that when the Earth has a major storm, it can fire high energy electromagnetic radiation in the gamma and X ray wavelengths up into space, and when this happens on a sunspot, we just call it a solar flare. To review from yesterday, from large, global-scale, polar-bound fields all the way down to the L-shell and coronal magnetic fields over lower latitudes, and then further all the way down to the behavioral, energetic, and physical characteristics of the smallest-scale fields and storms and how they are connected in the circuit on both Earth and Sun, it is clear that the Earth-spot coincidences merit a closer look, both for what they can teach us about the Sun and what they can teach us about the Earth. More pulse waves and penumbral lines here to close. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.